welcome back to my channel and welcome to my March 2016 beauty favorites. I don't know why I keep saying 2016. I have repeated myself this intro several times and 2016 just kept coming out. So in case you weren't aware of the year, it's 2016. Anywho, let's jump right into this. I have quite a few things here and honestly I have a few more of the lip products than what I normally do. So I'm going to start off with those. One of them I don't have with me currently because I left it at work, but I'm going to talk about it first. This is the MAC Lip Mix. The color is red. These are used to kind of mix in with other mediums. But you can wear them alone, and that's how I've been wearing them with no lip primer underneath and to die for. They are really moussey. They like stay in your lips. They will transfer, but they are long lasting at the same time. They're so comfortable and pigmented. I've been obsessing over this one. That's why I was at work because I kept wearing it and I forgot to bring it home. But I am definitely going to be picking up a few more colors. Like, they're already in my MAC basket online. Like, I need magenta and crimson. And if there's a blue one, like, I need them all. I love this formula. And again, you can mix them to kind of create your own color. Like, using MAC pigments or something. Amazing. I have two liquid lips that I have been loving this month. One is Jeffree Star Androgyny. I love this shade. It's so beautiful. Right here. Yes, I love this guy. And it's permanent now, so you can totally get your hands on it. And because I loved Caramello from Stila, I love the formula of it. I grabbed Bossy. And this is a little bit more of a purpley nude shade purpley pink maybe. So I grabbed that one and I really, really love it. I actually have Caramello on my lips right now with a little bit of gloss on top, but love that shade as well. And then another gloss, like typically I don't wear a lot of glosses just by themselves, but here recently I've been using this one. I kind of go back and forth. It feels like every summer I end up gravitating towards this and this is Ray of Sunshine. Mineralized Glass from MAC, and I love this one. I don't put anything else on my lips, I just wear it. And it's like an orangey shade, but it's so pretty. I feel like I'm running out of breath. <laughs> I keep like sniffling and then I'm talking a lot and yeah, I like, can't breathe. And then you guys are not gonna be surprised by this. The Bite Beauty Bite, what are they called? Amuse Bouge Lipstick. This one is in Sugar Cane. Not a color I would typically grab, but I loved it. You guys loved it. And yeah, this formula is amazing. I'm definitely going to be grabbing a lot more of these lipsticks. So those were the lipstick loves of the month. And now I'm going to move on to brushes. I have been using this guy nonstop, nonstop every single day. And yeah, I've had this brush for a hot minute, but... Yeah, I just started using it, but I changed my whole foundation routine and how I've been applying things, so that's probably the culprit. But this is the MAC 135. I use this to buff on my bronzer, and I think I would actually like to grab another one for my powder, like when I'm using it to use as a finishing powder. I think I want to grab another one of these. And then I have my Zach Posen, basically the 182 from MAC. This one is limited edition. I think it's still available. I'm not sure, but it has like green hairs. It's so pretty that I was like, yep, I want this one. I don't want the normal one. I want this one. But if you love this style brush, this Kabuki, you can totally get it anytime at maccosmetics.com or at, I think most counters do have, and I know the stores do, but the 182 is what you'd be getting. This brush is actually new to my collection for me. I've had it in my kit and I just started using it on people and then I decided, hey, why am I not using this brush on my own face? And what I actually like to do with this, MAC 263 in case I'm like blabbering and not telling you guys what it is, I love using this with a super pigmented black shadow and the one that I love to use the most is from the Melt Stack and this is Dark Matter. I have been doing my winged liner with this brush and this shadow more than anything else. So if you see like on Instagram and stuff, I have like a winged liner. It's been this and this brush. There's just something about the combo. I find it super easy to get the 
right size wing in the right place. Sometimes aligners kind of drag and then they get thicker and it's just harder. I find that using a shadow and this brush is way, way easier. But you do have to be careful of fallout, so like tap off your brush before you go in or do your foundation second so that it doesn't matter if you get it all over your face. The new foundation I have been adoring this month is the YSL to Chiclot Radiance Awakening Foundation. 10 million words, as always. But this guy I am obsessed with. Now, I will say it's not as long lasting on me as a lot of my other foundations, but me, I need a foundation to last 24 hours. <laughs> More like 12, but this one does really well for about eight hours on me, and then I do get really shiny in the T-zone, but usually blot powders or blot sheets work really well with it, but the finish on this is so beautiful that I just don't care. Like, I'm not gonna wear it if I have to be out on my motorcycle or if I'm going to need my makeup to last from six in the morning until 10 at night. Not gonna pick this one, but for everything else, I have been loving this. And the color I am in is BD10. Let's talk about brows. Now, my favorite thing of all time is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. But when I'm in an even bigger hurry, because that thing gets my brows done like this compared to the Brow Wiz, but this gets it done like you, you didn't even hear the you didn't even hear the snap because like it's done like it's done you're you're done. <laughs> but this is the new big brow pencil from Mac. And this shade is in Spiked. So it's a twist up and then in the cap, not in the cap, but underneath here, there is a sharpener. So if you're ever like, well, what am I gonna do when that is round, it's got a sharpener. But you literally just go back and forth in your brows and it's kind of like a waxy formula. It fills in the sparse areas and makes your brows look thicker. And it's like, boom, 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 leave. That's it, it's just done. So when I've been in a rush, or if I want a little bit more of a natural brow, but I still want them to look full and kind of fluffy, this, this is it. A little bit of skincare for a second. This is the Super Goop Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40. I love this. Love it. This stuff does not break me out. It wears really well under makeup and it's, I don't know, it feels hydrating on my skin. This is just, it hit it out of the park for me because I was looking for a sunscreen that didn't break me out because the regular um, chemical sunscreens, they break me out. So I just can't do it. They usually don't bother me in foundations, but if it's a, a sunscreen that you just put on your face, it's destroyed after that. But this does not break me out. It's amazing and it lays so well under makeup. I don't have any issues with it. If I want to be a little less dewy than what this would create, if I put a primer on top, it's done and it doesn't break apart my makeup or anything. Highly suggest this if you are sensitive to sunscreens or if you're having trouble finding something that lays well underneath your makeup. I have two eyeshadow palettes to talk about. And the first one you guys are probably so tired of hearing about and I did stop making tutorials with it and I probably will use it again but I'm gonna give it a chill for a second because people are like, I'm so tired of seeing it. And I completely understand why. But this is the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek collab. This palette, it, it's, it really is so good. I hope that the rest of Makeup Geek's shadows are this good because I was impressed by them. But I will say, MAC shadows in the pans are now $6, so there's that. But this palette, I love it. It's so good. With the exception of Mars, I don't feel like it comes off the same way that it looks in the pan. But I do love this palette. If you guys wanna see any more tutorials, you've gotta let me know because people were like, I'm tired of it. So, but I understand. Like I understand everybody was doing tutorials all the time and so I've kind of put it down, at least in front of the camera, I put it down behind the camera. Like when you guys don't see, I'm like, oh, let me do my eyes. But you know, just let me know if you guys wanna see anything else and I will do it for you. If not, I'm happy to keep it to myself and use it for me. Speaking of MAC shadows, this one though, I love this palette. 
Oh, I love this palette. This is the Mellow Moderns Times 15 palette. This guy went from 85 to 65, and that's amazing. The shadow colors in here, there's some that are limited, and then there's some that are permanent. Soft brown is one of my favorite transition shades. This green shade right here to die for. Love this yellow. Like, you can do so much with this. This is a great palette if you want to be neutral, but then you kind of want to step out of the box, but you don't want to be like completely out of the box. This is a really great palette for you. Now, the very last product is my favorite find that I have found in the longest, longest, longest time. Like this is holy grail status for me. I do not see myself parting with this, with this powder anytime soon. This is the La Mer The Powder. Like, I'm probably going to go ahead and get another one because if I run out of this and I don't have it, I will freak out. My skin has looked so much better with makeup on with this powder. Like, it's insane. Somebody was like, my friend, she was like, your skin looks really glowy today. She goes, but I can't tell if it's because we're in sunlight or because you're like, something's different. I was like, oh no girl, something is different. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This powder, like it looks so luminous, so pretty. It does not accentuate fine lines or pores or anything. It just makes everything gorgeous. And it's expensive, I know, but it's so worth it. Worth it. So yeah, I think that is everything. I cannot think of anything else. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you like what you see on the face, I have a video up. It was the last one I did, but I will link it down below. I did do a different lip, but you know, everything else is the same as a full face tutorial. If you want to see it, just click the link. Anywho, I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.